There's been a lot of discussion about a Procura Commission that would get to the roots of the financial crisis. What would you think a Procura Commission should look at, and what would you expect it to find? We wanted to find out what caused the crisis uh, and figure out the reforms that we need to prevent the future crises. In this context, uh, I'd expect it to concentrate on the perverse incentives that modern executive compensation creates uh, to that pushes people to engage in widespread accounting fraud. I'd expect them to look at the complete regulatory failure uh, under the Bush administration uh, of people that were appointed who came uh, the head of the Office of Service Supervision with a chainsaw uh, to a press conference with the industry lobbyists to demonstrate his intention to destroy all regulation, and the uh, economic ideology uh, that led us to believe for that uh, we really didn't need to regulate anything. The market would uh, make it all fine. So those would be the primary things we certainly wanted to look at. Well, one of the things that you've been talking about is the, the, uh, the culpability of the lending institutions themselves and the amount of fraud that uh, took place uh, at these uh, mortgage institutions, NEMAC, Countrywide, and, 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 and so on. Uh, what would you say about the, the scope of that, that fraud? What do you, would you think a commission would find? Well, the FBI has already told us that the scope of that fraud is epidemic, their word, and they began testifying about that in September 2004, and warning that if that epidemic were not stemmed, it would cause an economic crisis. Well, obviously it wasn't stemmed, and it caused an enorm enormous economic crisis. The FBI also reports that 80 percent of the mortgage fraud is induced by the lending institutions. And beyond that, course, that's not, in other words, it's not people, ordinary people, coming into an institution and trying to rip it off. Trying to rip it off. No. These are the lending institutions themselves. That's correct. Uh, sometimes, obviously, the, the, the borrower might have known. Uh, when they were being told to put a false number in for their income. Uh, but the primary culpability, according to the FBI, is overwhelmingly with the lending institutions. And therefore, the solution has to be there. But it also means that there's massive accounting fraud. Because once you have these fraudulent mortgages that have been induced by the lenders, of course, they have to hide the losses on them. Mm -hmm. And that's accounting fraud, and if they're publicly traded companies, and they virtually all were, that's securities fraud. That's a felony, and people can and should go to prison for it. But weren't there rating agencies that gave these agencies like AAA ratings and so on? What was all of that about? Uh, there were indeed AAA uh, ratings from the rating agencies, and the rating agencies were a leading contributor to this crisis. We need enormous reforms there, and a PCORA investigation is critical both to fully develop the problems with the rating agencies and what we need to do to fix them. But what we do know already is that the rating agencies consistently gave AAA ratings, and that's supposed to mean there is zero credit risk to mortgages that were known in the trade as liar's loans that were called in the trade toxic waste. And they did this, of course, because it made the rating agencies rich. And the way they were able to do it is by never examining a single loan file. Because if they had examined them, the fraud would have been so obvious that they couldn't have given a AAA. So this is the financial version of the don't ask, don't tell policy. Keep your losses in the closet. And on top of all of this, as you pointed out before, was this massive regulatory failure that uh, this was just allowed to go on without, with the Office of Thrift Supervision and for that matter, the Securities and Exchange Commission and some of the other agencies that are supposed to watch these institutions were asleep at the switch. Absolutely. You see no effective action taken, uh, and that includes, of course, by the person who's now the Treasury Secretary, uh, Geithner, in his role as president of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Indeed, in front of Congress, he testified, I've never been a regulator. Well, he may have never regulated, but his duty was to regulate, and he utterly failed in that duty. Um, getting back to uh, the uh, commission, uh, the 
the kind of what is the kind of commission that we would need in order to do this? Would, could this be, for example, uh, a handful of members of Congress uh, that are heading it up? What, would, what should be the structure? What's critical is to have one person in charge, not a majority council, minority council. Majority and minority need to come together on somebody that they have faith in, and that person has to be backed by full subpoena authority, and that person has to actually do the questioning. So. If you know, people have watched C-SPAN and see one member of Congress question for three minutes and then another member of Congress for three minutes. You can't do a real investigation that way. You have to have the primary questioning done in large blocks of time by skilled prosecutors. And the, actually, the Procor, uh, Ferdinand Procore actually operated that way, didn't he? That is correct. Uh, he was a former prosecutor of high integrity that was picked for, uh, precisely because of that background, and it was very, very successful. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.